Hey you guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to be testing out the brand new ColourPop Daisy Desert collection. I will be showing you guys swatches of everything that comes in this collection. I'll also be creating this look for you guys. So I hope you guys are all excited about today's video. If you are, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So for today's video, I've partnered up with the perfume brand Dossier. They create inspired by perfumes. Basically, they create amazing versions of high-end perfumes at a super affordable price because you guys know that perfume can be very expensive and I'm like super into perfume, but I don't like to spend a lot of money on it. So I was so excited when they reached out to me to try out their fragrances. And I've already heard amazing things about this brand just from like so many other influencers. So I've been wanting to try it for a while. So yeah, I'm really excited to partner with them for today's video. So as I said, they do reproduce classic, like high-end luxury perfumes that smell literally just like the high-end versions, but they are way more affordable. So they have a risk-free system where you can try a perfume perfume before committing to it and they do have a 30 day return policy. So all of their fragrances are $39. So that is an amazing price. And these are like decent sized bottles and the packaging of this is just like amazing. They feel very high quality. I love the cap and it like has a magnetic closure, which I'm a sucker for packaging. So yeah, as I said, these are super affordable and you can get a 20% off welcome offer. And then I also have a 10% off coupon code that you can combine with the welcome offer. So you can get 30% off the already like super cheap price of $39. They also have a new payment method called catch. So if you do use catch to make a purchase, you can get a $10 bonus credit. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about the two fragrances that I picked out and I've been obsessed with these. So the first one we have is Ambery Vanilla. So this one is inspired by YSL's Black Opium. This is one of their most popular scents that they sell. And yeah, you guys know that Black Opium is super expensive and that's also a very popular perfume. So the top notes in this one are Mandarin, Pear, Pink Pepper, and Licorice. And then the middle notes are Jasmine and Orange Blossom. And the base notes are Cedarwood, Patchouli, Patchouli? Why do I always say that word wrong? Vanilla and coffee. So this one has like a sweet scent, but I feel like it's more of like a mature sweet scent. If you like vanilla type scents, but also floral, you will probably really like this. It's definitely not too sweet. I know some people don't like like very sweet perfumes. I personally do. This one is definitely not too sweet. It's just like the base of it is sweet. And this one just is a really good, like I feel like nighttime scent. I wouldn't wear this during the day. This one is very strong and it does last a really long time. So I like to keep this one more for like the evening time because it is a more like strong scent and yeah it just smells amazing that's one of their more popular scents that they have and then i also have a floral marshmallow and this one is inspired by killian's love don't be shy perfume this is the perfume that i've been wearing like every day during the daytime like to work the top notes are marshmallow neroli i hope i'm saying that right bergamot middle notes orange blossom honeysuckle jasmine base notes amber vanilla and musk i really like like vanilla type scents this one smells so good this one is definitely more more sweet than ambery vanilla. It's definitely sweeter. It's a little bit more like fresh and floral scented, but super sweet as well. That's why I like to wear this one more during the day. So if you like sweet scents, you'll probably love both of these. Flora Marshmallow, definitely more of a daytime scent. And then the Ambery Vanilla, I would say is more of an evening time scent. And yeah, I've been loving both of these. So yeah, I highly recommend them. And they're having so many good deals right now. There is like a bunch of coupon codes you guys can stack and it is such a good price. And honestly, I go to work with the scent Flora Marshmallow on and I'll be at work for like over eight hours and you can definitely still smell it at the end of the day, like strong. So the fragrances last a long time and they are so affordable. So yeah, I was super happy when a dossier reached out to me because I already heard amazing things about their scents so I had always wanted to try them so yeah make sure you guys check out my link in the description box below to check out their website and then I'll also have my coupon code there as well so now we're gonna be moving on to the review part of this video where I'm gonna be trying out the Daisy Desert collection so first up we're gonna be doing close-ups and swatches of everything that comes in this collection so first up we have the Daisy Desert eyeshadow palette the packaging is super cute and here are the shades I really love this color story I think it's so fun it really makes me excited for spring and summer makeup. So it looks like we have five shimmers, five mattes, and then two mattes with glitter in them. So we're gonna go ahead and do some swatches starting with this shade. This one is called Chain Letter and this formula is making me a little nervous. It kind of feels like a super shock formula, very creamy. And last time I had one of these in a palette, it didn't show up the best on the eyes. Next is Pinwheel. Rooted. Bloom Room, 
See, this formula shows up much better. This is more of like a metallic. This first one, I don't know what the deal is with that. They've been putting that in their newer palette and it just feels like a super shock, but doesn't show up as well. Next we have Innocent. I love pinky shades like this that have a gold glitter in them. Super pretty. Flower Girl. Top Pick. This one would probably be really pretty in the inner corner since it does have the glitter in it. So fresh. Okay, this one feels like it has the same formula as that first one. It's a very sheer formula that feels very creamy, but it really just looks like a topper and you can probably barely even see that. Nice stems. Like butter. Shasta. and spun. So here are all of the shades in the palette. Love the color story, but I'm not a fan of two of those shimmer shades because I just feel like they don't really show up very well. But yeah, the color story is pretty. Also in this collection, we have three Super Shock Shadow Duos. First up, we have Flower Buds. The first shade is called Ray Day. That is gorgeous. And the other shade is called Water Me. Okay, I love both of those. They are very interesting. Next, we have Lawn Party. This one has the shade Beloved. And we have the shade Entranced. Gorgeous yellow. And lastly, we have the Prom Duo. This is the first shade. All right, this one did not feel very creamy and I feel like I couldn't pick anything up. Ooh, yeah, that doesn't look very good. And this is the second shade. Okay, this one felt a lot better and that is a gorgeous shade. So here are all of the shades in the Super Shock Duos. Then we have the Upsy Daisy Eyeliner Set and it comes with five different shades of their eyeliner, which is one of my favorite eyeliner formulas. First, we have Extra Frosting. On point. Captivating. Then we have the shade Sunnyvale, which I believe they sell on its own. It's just a brown. And then we have this really pretty dark green, which I'm excited about. So here are swatches of all of the liners. Also in this collection, we have three shades of their Super Shock Cheeks, which are blushes. First up is the shade Doozy, which looks really bright and fun. This is like the perfect shade for the spring and summer. I do wanna show you guys how it looks now that I swatched it. It is like very, very creamy, so it did start sinking down. It literally feels like a cream blush. Then we have another bright shade. This one is a little bit deeper, and this is very pink. This one also feels like a cream. These swatch very nicely. I hope they go on the cheeks nicely. Sorry for the sun, like, shining. It is very sunny outside right now. It's coming right in my window. And then here is the last shade. This one is the deepest shade. I actually think this shade will probably be my favorite. And lastly, we have six shades of their Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stains. I love these. First up is the shade Tree Hugger. The Glory. Sun Kiss. Ooh, wow, that's a really bright pink. That one's fun. Poplar Culture, that's a cute name. Virtue. Also very bright. That one's kind of like orangey. And lastly, we have Leave Me Alone. So here are all of the shades of the glossy lip stains. These are all fun and bright colors, so I'm excited to see how these look on the lips. So now that you guys have seen everything, we're gonna move on to the demo part of this video where I create this eye look for you guys. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my lids with my P. Louise base. So I'm just going to kind of tap this all over the lid. I like my base to be a little bit tacky. So going in with the eyeshadow palette, I'm first gonna grab the shade Like Butter, and I wanna use as many shades as possible and create like one kind of cohesive spring type look. This palette I feel like makes me want to create like a bunch of different looks 
but for today's video, I'm gonna do just one. So basically, I'm just gonna take that dark brown and kind of stamp it all along the shape of my lid, like how I want my eye shape to go. And this does not have to be precise. It can be a little bit messy. So once I kind of put the color down, I'll just take my little brush and go back and forth until it's a little bit smoother. It just makes blending later easier. And honestly, this shade usually gets like covered up anyways, but then you can always go back in and deepen it back up. So I just find that putting it down really helps the look, even if it does slightly get covered later. Now I'm gonna take the shade Flower Girl and I'm just gonna start blending this right above the dark brown. I really love this peachy shade. It's like a peachy pink. It's such a pretty shade. And now I'm gonna take a pinwheel and I'm just going to start lightly blending this above the lash shade once again. This is gonna be like the lash shade that I do in my crease area. And then I always like to kind of go back in and replace the shades and kind of blend everything a little bit more after I initially lay down the color just to make sure everything is nicely blended into each other. So I'm just like very, very lightly blending because I want this shade to look like nice and faded at the top. All right, so I went ahead and kind of cut my crease off camera with some concealer. It doesn't have to be perfect. So as you can see, I did kind of cover up the brown, like I said, but after I put the lid shades down, we'll go back in with the darker shades so we can reapply the brown that did pretty much get covered. So I'm first gonna take the shade Beloved. This is one of these super shock shadows. And I always have such a hard time applying these because really they're better applied with your finger, but I just really like applying shimmers with a brush because I just like to be more precise with my shimmers, but I'm just gonna pop this in the inner corner. After I kind of put some down with a brush, I'm gonna tap with my finger to brighten it up a little bit. And this is just a really pretty light yellow. Going back into the palette, I'm gonna grab the shade Innocent. And this shade, I'm going to put down the center of the lid and I will kind of blend it in with the first shade right here take the shade Entranced and this one is like a super bright yellow and I'm just gonna start tapping this on the outer part of the lid with my finger. Okay, so now that I have all of the lid shades down that I want, I will basically just go back in with all of the crease shades. So starting with like the dark brown over here, I'll kind of blend on each of the outer corners to deepen those back up. And then once there's not much product left on the brush, I will start blending all along the crease shades just so we can deepen back up this area. And then I'll also go back in with the other crease shades as well. All right, so here's where we're at so far. Now I'm gonna add like the same shades along the lower lash line that I added in my crease. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this part just because it's pretty much like the same thing. So I'm going to take the dark brown and I'm going to keep this like super close to the lash line because we want the deepest shade closest to the lash line. Then I'll take the pinky kind of peachy shade and just blend right below. And then I'll take the lightest shade, which was pinwheel. And I'm just going to blend this all underneath both of those shades. So now I'm gonna take a top pick and this one has that like glitter in it. So I'm gonna pop this like right in the inner corner just because what is a spring look without a bright yellow inner corner? And now I'm gonna take these two liners. I'm going to just apply this on the outer part of my lash line. So yeah, just about halfway. And then I'm gonna take the light yellow and we will just put this on the inner half to brighten up the eye. So now I'm gonna apply some mascara off camera and I will be right back. All right, so here is the eye look, very like fresh and bright and fun for spring, but like not too much. So that's why I really like that color story because I feel like there's a lot of different looks you could create with it. And you can have like fun pops of color like the yellow, but you can still make it wearable for like every day if you wanted to. So now we're gonna try out the blush and I really can't decide what shade I wanna use, but I think I might start with this one. I don't know, we also have the like bright peachy shade. This is really hard. I'm gonna I'm gonna first go in with the rosy shade and see how this looks. It's going to kind of like stipple it on and seems to be going on nicely. I actually really like this shade and I think this one goes the best with the look that I have on right now. I'm gonna add a little bit of doozy, which is like the peachy shade. This one's like bright. I'm gonna add it just to show you guys. 
Yeah, that's more of like an orangey type shade. I like the formula of these. I don't use these very often, so I'm glad to have these in my collection now. And these are fun, bright shades for the spring, so I'm excited about that. They look very smooth. Pigmentation seems to be really good, so that is good. I don't like my blush to be like too crazy looking, so we're just gonna stop there before I go overboard. All right, so the last thing I need to show you guys on the lips are the Fresh Kiss Glo oh, drop that. <laughs> Glossy Lip Stains. And my lips are already stained, as you guys can see, because I did try these out already for my thumbnail picture. So I'm gonna try and do these lip swatches like quickly because these really stain your lips like a lot. So I don't wanna keep them on the lips too long because then my lips will be really stained and you won't really be able to tell the color very well. So first up we have Poplar Culture. Okay, I applied a lot of this one earlier and it, that's the one that really stained my lips, but yeah. Here is the shade, super pretty. It's definitely more of a pink. It looks very dark in the two, but it is a pink. Next up we have Leaf Me Alone. So this one is similar to the last shade, but it's a little bit lighter. And this one is also a pinky shade. I think this one will look really pretty for the springtime. Then we have the Glory. So here is this shade. I really like this one. It is kind of similar to the first two that I showed you. Kind of like this one a little bit more. It's a little bit of a brighter shade. I feel like this one is a really fun pink as well. It is kind of similar to those first two shades, but this one is personally my favorite out of the deeper shades. Okay, apparently I lost the sticker to this one. Like there's not a sticker on the bottom, so I cannot remember what this one is called, but I did show it at the beginning. I love this one. I think it's such a pretty shade. Definitely one of my favorites out of the ones that come in this collection. It's such a pretty shade. Next up we have Virtue. This one is like a bright, almost like neon peachy color. I hope this shows up okay because my lips are so stained now. Okay, so this one did show up darker looking than it did earlier when I first applied it and that's because my lips are stained. So yeah, just keep that in mind. It does look a little bit darker right now because my lips are so stained. But this one looks like scary when you look at it in the bottle, but on the lips it's actually pretty wearable because it is a lip stain so it kind of shears out a little bit and I actually really like the shade. It's a fun shade for the spring. And lastly, we have Sunkiss. So here is this shade, love this one as well. It's a bright pink and it does look a little bit darker just because my lips were stained as I've said like a million times, but it is a really pretty shade. So yeah, I think we've gone over everything that comes in the Daisy Desert collection. I was really excited whenever I saw this collection just because it makes me so excited for the spring and summertime. I really do like the color story of the eyeshadow palette. I know some people might be like, oh, it's basic or you have shades like this already in your collection. But if you don't have a kind of like warm yellowy palette, you'll probably really enjoy this one and it would be a great addition to your collection. My only issues with this palette are these two shimmery shades. I don't know why they're including this new formula that's similar to the Super Shock Shadow formula. It's just a little bit too creamy for my personal taste because it's very hard to like pick up with a brush and it's pretty sheer, but everything else in the palette is beautiful. So yeah, I really like the color story and this makes me excited to do like springtime makeup. So this is probably one of my favorite things that comes in the collection and I was actually really impressed with the Super Shock Cheek blushes. I thought I wasn't gonna like the formula of these just because I'm usually not big into the super shock shadows but these applied really nicely I'm just worried that they'll dry out because they are so creamy and I've had that happen with super shock shadows in the past so hopefully these don't dry out and these are such fun bright shades for the springtime and then some of these super shock shadows I really really like and then some were just like okay I think that these three shades in this collection are gorgeous we have the bright kind of like yellowy gold and then this like purple like duochrome type shade is just such a gorgeous shade I wish I would have use that today but it didn't really go with my look and then also the like greenish blue shade stunning the other three were just like okay as I said as far as the liners could have done without these I'm not big into liners but I did like the two shades that I used their formula of eyeliner is amazing that's not like my issue with them I just am not like a big eyeliner type person and then I love the formula of the fresh kiss glossy lip stains they're very comfortable on the lips they make your lips look hydrated they don't feel like super sticky or anything like that like a regular lip gloss because I hate regular lip gloss and these leave such a nice stain on the lips 
lips. So after you've worn them for a while, you still have color on your lips. So let me know what you guys think about this collection in the comments down below. Let me know if you're planning on picking it up. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. As soon as this collection launches, I will put links to everything in the description box below. Also, make sure you guys check out Dossier. I love their perfumes and they are so affordable. I will leave a link for their website below as well. And then I'll also put my coupon code so you guys can save some money on their perfumes. Also, make sure you guys have your notifications turned on. That way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. All you have to do is click the bell next to the subscribe button and then you'll receive a notification every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.